I'm Jeff with Superstition Meadery, and my wife Jen and I make mead and hard cider in Prescott, Arizona. For the most part, it's similar to winemaking in that we're just pitching our yeast into a must and fermenting it. We get everything ready to mix up honey and water and yeast if it's a traditional mead. Sometimes we're gonna put in fruit juice or fruit puree in the beginning or towards the end of fermentation. Our goal is to have a rather neutral fermentation as far as the yeast is concerned so that we can express the flavors of the honey or the fruit juices or the barrel aging. We have one of the biggest barrel aging programs in Mead ever, for sure. We have brandy barrels, rum barrels, bourbon barrels, rye whiskey barrels, pork barrels, barrels we've traded with breweries. The potential to create unique flavors from barrels is rather unlimited. From time to time, we want to see how something is aging so that we can answer our customers' questions, how we can predict what we're doing, do we need to change course in production. Sampling from barrels and sampling from our fermenters is definitely something that happens um, day to day, week to week, month to month, now sometimes year to year even. When you're looking at barrel aging, we're, we're trying to see is this thing ready? Is this product good to go? Or what stage is it at? And we have barrels going on year two now to make what we call Black Rose, which is our extended bourbon barrel aged mead. We are in our tasting room in downtown Prescott. Prescott has a courthouse square, which is surrounded by shops and bars and restaurants and antique stores. It is beautiful. And we are directly off of the steps on the north side of the courthouse if you were to cross the street right there. And you gotta go into this cool historic building that's a spice store, coffee shop, art gallery, and you get to come down the stairs into our underground bar. The wood, the glass, the steel, the board form concrete columns are all noble building materials that we took advantage of. My wife and I built everything in here by hand and it was made with materials that you could have used 120 years ago when this building was built. So it's really a, a unique experience when you come down into the space where you get to enjoy the best meat and cider in the world with some really nice food.